Hey everyone, Andrew back for another Barista Basics video. So yes, as we can tell, I am once again outside. I am actually home in New Jersey. I've officially moved back since completing my final semester at the University of South Carolina. Woot woot. I'm very excited um, to be back home for lots of reasons. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, my family has just been going through kind of a lot of stuff right now. And I wasn't even sure if I was going to film this video today, but things have been looking up, knock on wood. I would do that when I go inside. There's no wood around me at the moment, um, but things have been going well. So I am in pretty good spirits. So I actually ended up deciding to film today. Um, as you may be able to hear, it is currently raining outside. Not super hard um, and it's a little bit nippy but since I was stuck inside filming for the last video I figured that it would be kind of fun to uh, you know have sort of the return of outside sort of more informal filming um, yeah so as you can tell from the title of the video this video is all about the etymology of the word coffee so for those who are unaware, um, etymology is essentially just the study of the origin of words. So literally, where words come from, where, how, you know, where words originate from, and how, you know, sort of derivatives of that word have developed into um, various languages. So obviously, we are going to trace back the English word coffee all the way to its origins. Now, I have prepared... It's going to be a little bit different I, since I'm back in New Jersey. Um, and this, I wasn't planning on using a cheat sheet for this video, but um, since we're talking about etymology and um, spelling is a big part of that, I figured it would only be right for me to utilize a cheat sheet to showcase um, the spelling of uh, these words. So we will see how this goes with me trying to film with one hand and hold the cheat sheet in the other. Let's see if this is a success or a fail. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> so here it is. My little, oh Lord. Okay. This looks pretty good. Here is my little cheat sheet here. So I will try to make this video as brief as possible. So there's sort of a lot of, um, varying opinions on the um not so much on the origin of the word coffee it's pretty unanimous regarding the agreement on where the word comes from which is from arabic but sort of how it has um dispersed since then is draws a bit of questioning um but the source that i found was um an excerpt from the book all about coffee by william h uckers he, um, I guess, was an etymologist, or at the very least an, an author, who was alive from about the late 1800s to the mid-1900s. And he, in his book, a part of it, I think it's actually the first section of the book, he talks about the etymology of the word coffee. So that is where I am primarily pulling this information from. Um, and even in that uh, excerpt I read, he offers varying bits of information from other people who have studied the etymology of coffee. Um, but, you know, using that as a primary resource and going through some other resources, this is sort of the most, um, the information that I feel is the most accurate. So let's get started. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the origin of the word coffee uh, stems from Arabic. Oh, man, see, the wind is not gonna be my friend today, is from Arabic, which is um, kahwa. I YouTubed how to pronounce this word, the coffee in Arabic, so i sorry if I absolutely butchered that, but I tried my best. Um, but that is the um, unanimous origin of the word, is from Arabic. Now, ooh, a pretty cardinal. Sorry, that really caught my eye. Um, so a little interesting fact about this word, actually. Um, many believe that the word for um, coffee in Arabic originates from a certain Arabic verb, which means to lack hunger. Um, and many believe that this word uh, came to be because of coffee, obviously the drink's um, sort of natural ability to suppress appetite. So a little fun fact for you there. Um, but yeah, so it originated from um, the word in Arabic. Now, um, 
The Turkish had a different pronunciation of it, which is kave. And this, you know, as we can see based on me pronouncing that, is sort of more similar to how we pronounce it today. Um, sorry, let me try to adjust this paper. Oh, we, you know what? Maybe I'll try to hold it from the top. Not a good idea, as it turns out. Let's just go back to this. Um, so, right, we have the Turkish kave. Um, now, this is where um, we can see a divergence start to form. Around 1600 is when the Europeans got a hold of this word and sort of changed, not, they didn't change the pronunciation of it, of course, on purpose, but, you know, different languages pronounce different things differently, so they sort of uh, adapted it to fit their, you know, how they phonetically pronounce stuff. So this divergence here can be seen uh, through two different pronunciations of the main um, vowel, which is the um, a sound in the uh, kave. So the French and Italians uh, sort of kept it more true to the uh, Turkish pronunciation of it and sort of kept that um, a sound, for example, um, cafe or cafe. Um, I guess if you want to Anglinize it. Um, but yeah, so around 1600, we had this divergence, the Italians and the French, and, you know, other European countries that pronounce coffee this way, held on to sort of more the original Turkish pronunciation. Um, whereas the Dutch interpreted that first vowel sound as more of an O, as in coffee. Um, and so... And also, I should also mention that the V sound got uh, translated to um, an F sound, which is why we obviously don't use the V when we pronounce it, we use F sounds instead. So the Dutch is actually where the English got their pronunciation from, of course, coffee. Um, it is much closer to the Dutch pronunciation with sort of that um, more O-like sound as opposed to the more A-like sound. Um, and yeah, I think that is actually it for the video. I... was it everything? Yeah, okay, cool. So that is the etymology of coffee. Long story short, it originated from Arabic and the... Turkish had a different pronunciation of it, which um, the Europeans, when they got a hold of it, um, sort of had a divergence between the two main, the first vowel sound, and then the English decided to adopt the more Dutch way of pronouncing it, and that is how we get the wonderful word coffee today. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. I hope that, um, of course, you learned something. I hope this video was at least mildly interesting. I said I was going to try to keep this brief. But this video is going on eight minutes. I honestly don't know why I even bother saying I'm going to try to keep it brief because it never ends up being brief. But nobody's really surprised by that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys are staying well. I hope that we are continuing to practice our safety coronavirus procedures. Um, I know a lot of places are opening back up, you know, non-essential businesses. But of course, I would still encourage you to stay home and practice quarantining because this virus hasn't gone away yet, clearly, and going out and exposing yourself and other people is not really advisable. So please do the smart thing and continue to stay home. I... Is that just lightning? Oh, here's some thunder. Yeah, a little spooky. Okay, so before I get shot by lightning, let me go ahead and finally conclude. I thank you guys so much for checking the video out. I hope to see you guys next week for another Barista Basics video. I also hope to see you guys tomorrow, Friday and Saturday, for um, new Coffee Talk videos. I'm very excited to pick that game back up. Uh, yeah, and I just hope that you are staying safe, healthy, sane, entertained, um, not going absolutely stir-crazy yet. Uh, and yeah, I thank you so much for checking the video out, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.